Not all snakes are bad, but today we're going to be taking a look at Steve Huff, one of the most infamous paranormal creators linked to forging spirit box content. <laughs> Something's not right here. You're Cody ITC! Yeah! You laughed at me when I said about Huff being fake, fraud and all that malarkey. Thought I was just somebody who had no idea what I was talking about. Hmm. I see, I see. Well, what brings this on? Does this mean you're going to ditch the decorated guitar amp? Oh, no, no, that's not what this is about. But I think I've worked it out. This is going to be an interesting one, Furtis. This is not going to be the typical, let's buff, let's bust huff. <laughs> no, no, no. We did that yesterday for the umpteenth time. This one's going to be a bit more interesting. Roll the intro! Steve Huff, also known as Huff Paranormal, is a self-proclaimed ITC researcher with over 1.65 million subscribers on YouTube. Though Steve is known by many as a spiritual man, there is a much more darker side to Steve that many don't know about. Today, I'm going to expose Steve Huff along with his partner Joshua Lewis, who goes by the name Hope Paranormal on YouTube, for their dark kept past in the paranormal field. I'm going to be showing you evidence which undeniably proves that Steve Huff fakes paranormal videos for money, fame, and material gain. Now I'm sure Josh and Steve are going to deny everything in this video and do whatever it takes to stop people from seeing it. Which is why I encourage you to share this video because it is under the Creative Commons license which means anybody can distribute and re-upload this video and even monetize it if you want to. So feel free to do so so that they can't shut our voices down. Cool. You really want to damage him, don't you? You really want to get that video out there get it uploaded on all the channels, you know, not to silence you. Oh no, I, I understand. I mean, look, Mr. Bluff, and especially Josh, I've tried to take that on my channel on many occasions. Not once, not twice, but thrice. So, yeah, I don't believe in deplatforming people, even Bluff himself. Now, why would you want to do this? This is interesting because you're, you're one of his biggest, well, not biggest fan, but you own a decorated guitar ham, just like his. You do the same thing as he does. You do all the same... I mean, like I said in the intro, you laughed at me when I, uh, you know, pointed out that Huff Paranoid stopped laughing at me. My wife's laughing at me in the corner. She's doing all my actions. But my point is this. Why? Hmm. I'm going to stroke my chin and wonder why you are doing this video. Because I don't think it's quite as transparent as... What you're making out, let us carry on. Well, today Steve and Josh teamed up against me due to my above average channel growth within the past year in an effort to shut down my channel from fear of me getting in their way, cutting into their profits and losing subscribers. Not I, but we here on the channel, including the spirits, achieved 100,000 subscribers in less than a year. 
Steve Huff is easily making a six-figure salary from ad revenue, channel memberships, and Patreon subscriptions, despite the dying state of his channel and low view counts. With Josh not far behind Steve, he also sees me as a threat that needs to be taken care of as they both work together and, in a sense, piggyback off of each other's success. As Josh says in documented text messages, he does not make enough money yet in this work, but he still focuses on it while running his other businesses in the background, which I think he owns a nightclub or something like that, I don't know. I was though, however, given a corrupt choice to make, to choose to avoid this whole situation. I declined in the end, which led to all of this mess unfolding. That choice was to give up all my techniques and explain to these people how my replies are so clear, so that they can up the quality of their videos and be on par with me, so that I don't get in their way anymore. Though I can't confirm whether Josh has faked any of his content, I'll have to look into it further. Let me know if you want a series on that in the comments section down below. We can go debunk him if you want. I know for a fact though that Steve has, and soon you will too. But in my opinion... Uh, I, I, I thought so. I thought so. Right, a few questions. When I dealt with Cody ITC, um, I was sort of given another channel... Uh, an insight, well they already knew who I was, but I didn't know that they knew who I was, regarding methods such as, um, you know, playing backwards videos, why that method is flawed and whatnot, and Cody ITC was part of that group, if you like, and um, I'm not going to say the name of the channel because they deleted the channel for whatever reason that might be, um, and, and I, I don't know if they're still on YouTube or not, I, I, I don't think so, but it makes a lot of sense now. Oh, Cody! You've really, you bloody how you've grown. Congratulations, by the way. Well done. Really well done. How did you do that? Don't worry. I'm not jealous. I, I promise you, I'm not jealous. Fucking... <laughs> no, I'm not jealous. I, I don't give a fuck about views and stuff like that. To be honest with you, uh, I sincerely say this when I say this. I have the support that I need to, to keep me going. Uh, I'm very happy in life where I am. I, I, I never started on YouTube to be some sort of viral superstar, to be famous or anything like that. In fact, I started to do, ironically, a rant video on Huff and that was it. I didn't want to do no more. But people demanded more, I carried on. And the only reason why I did a rant video on Huff is because I lived in a property, which is up the road from here, that had activity. I was a skeptic, didn't believe in nothing like this. You know, heaven, hell, fuck it. No, didn't believe in none of it. As only when I met my wife and she said that she had something in her house, I laughed at her, and I wasn't laughing, we'll just say no later than a week or, or less, I wasn't laughing. Yeah. And my avatar... Yeah, we'll, we'll come to this in a bit, all right? And a lot of you already know this, and it's going to be boring as fuck. But let's just... It's interesting. Suddenly, Cody's, I feel, has a bit of an ego going on because he's successful and doing well. And that's fine. No worries. But I feel that there's a reason for this upload. And it's not as, what's the word, sincere as what he's making out. There's a power struggle going on. No doubt Cody is pulling in more views than Huff. So Huff and Josh are thinking, we can't have this. This is our corner of the market. We own a decorated guitar amp fucking market. No way. So suddenly, a power struggle is ensuing. So Cody's like, right. Now, Cody knew. He fucking... No one without a brain. Well, oh, that's not really nice to say because... Uh, what I'm trying to say is... I'm sure deep down Cody knew when he used to believe in him and all the shit and he invested in his fucking decorated guitar amp and all the rest of it. He knew. He knew that there's something not right, but we'll just go with it. And he wouldn't have, he would not, you Cody, I don't think you would have done this video unless you had the subscribers you've got. And, and now you feel that you can pull away, you can do it on your own, you've got your market. You're suddenly getting the formula down. You weren't doing this before. You didn't have a YouTube formula. I watched your videos previous to when you had a thousand subscriber subs or whatever. You Now you're doing the... Thought you got the music in the background, the editing. Oh, it's beautiful. Mwah, absolutely beautiful. And like I say, congratulations to you. I'm not, you know, dissing you for doing a hundred thousand subs. It's bloody amazing. You've broke out. and Well done. How have you broke out? It wouldn't be anything to do with celebrity death sessions using a wonder box, which was 
I'm not going to say created by Huff because he didn't create the Wonder Box. He hasn't invented anything. He didn't, you know, I mean, Huff couldn't tell me how many um, chips are in each, uh, you know, device or anything like that. He doesn't have a schematics. What he's done is uh, glued some crystals to certain apparatus but is actually meant for a guitar and called that an invention. We, we, we all know this. Come on, let's, let's not kid ourselves here, okay? I've done numerous videos on it. But yeah, yeah, that's why I think you're doing this video, Cody. There's a power struggle now. Uh, and you, you want to come out of this one and only. And you've got quite a few things wrong here. But that's okay. That's cool. Hey, the enemy of my enemy is my f friend. Uh, 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 nah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Carry on, Cody. Carry on. Congratulations, like I said, okay? I promise you this isn't a jealousy. I don't give a fuck about subs. I find it interesting that YouTube shadow has shadow banned me because I was growing like no tomorrow until a policy change happened, but that's because I'm a fucking loudmouth. I don't just, you know, keep myself to myself. I don't... Yeah, yeah, let's carry on. I, I honestly don't care about I'm happy. I promise you. I know you don't believe me, but I promise you will too, but in my opinion, Josh is just as guilty for hanging around him for fame and views and money, knowing what he does, because let's not pretend at this point, Josh knows what Steve does. I will now begin to show you the video evidence of Steve Huff faking spirit replies. Multiple different videos spanning different time periods across his channel, some which have not been seen by the public before, some that I have discovered on my own, and one of them actually being really recent, which shows that even if he did fake his work in the past, he still hasn't changed. Video number one is a classic. Steve Huff was testing his wonder box when an unusually clear reply came through saying, can't tell you how pleased I am. How's this? Can't tell you how pleased I am. This very sentence must echo through the mind of Steve to this day, as this is one of the first pieces of evidence where he was caught red-handed faking spirit replies. Have a look at the original clip, which was taken from an ASMR video, which will be linked in the description of this video if you want to go and check it out for yourself, and you can compare the clips side by side if you don't believe me. Welcome. Please, come in. I can't tell you how pleased I am to see you. Can't tell you how pleased I am. How's this? Can't tell you how pleased I am. Can't tell you how pleased I am. Can't tell you how pleased I am. As you can see, the phrase is an identical match to the ASMR video that Steve had stole it from. On top of this, you will hear throughout the whole session, which I cannot play due to copyright issues, but it's the same speaker over and over again coming through, which means that he used more than one, quote, spirit reply from that ASMR video. One important thing that you really need to note though is how extraordinarily clear these replies are coming from Steve's old videos. I'm on the moon. Compare them to now where Steve puts so much distortion and reverb on his settings to the point where you can barely even make out what's being said. motive for your actions is becoming ever more clearer Cody ever since you have um, exploded in paranormal numbers like I say I wonder why you've exploded nothing to do with celebrity sessions no 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 we'll come to that in ethics of that but you are wrong wrong well sort of wrong no okay samples I'm sure Huff does that now I mean, he does backward videos, but what you're portraying here or, or showing here is not what you think, okay? It goes like this, okay? Oh, this is so old. This is so old. This is from 2016 sort of time. You're only just discovering this now, only for the reasons of your own, you know, for, for your own gains. Basically, it's an app. An app done by Matt... Lame. I mean, Pain. La Matt Payne. We used to call him Matt Lame because he used to make shitty apps like this. Apps that, you know, apps are going to have hundreds of thousands of little uh, snippets of audio. This one doesn't. It had two MP3s, just two, from that 
ASMR video you showed, okay? And what it would do, it would turn the volume up on one side of an MP3 and then come down and go onto the other of the M of another of the other MP3 thing, yeah? So backwards, forwards, back, turn up the volume, turn the volume down, turn the volume up, turn the volume down. On each of those, just two MP3s. And it was backwards. So when people downloaded the app, they thought they'd heard gibberish. And gibberish, right? That's amazing how Huff is getting those replies. Oh, wow. Well, that's because it's not spirit manipulating the audio, which is a theory I'm not... Uh, it's possible, but it's not proven. Please don't say it's proven, because it's not proven. It's a theory. It's a theory that could be. I, I, It might be, but it's not proven, okay? Like, pr proven, proven, okay? Scientifically proven. You guys don't know what proven even means, right? It's an... Cut a long story short, it's a rigged app. Huff knew it was a rigged app, so when he uh, literally uh, used this app, you know, he knew that his decorated guitar amp would flip it over to give him a clear reply. Simple as that, Cody. We work our behinds off to try to improve this work, this field of research, and slowly but surely, it's been improving dramatically. Surely, it's been improving dramatically. Do not be deceived. This is not to make it easier for the spirits to come through. I prove that in my videos. I show you that you do not need super distorted audio to allow spirits to come through easier. He does this so that people cannot trace back the audio to the original source that he stole it from. Alright, and so video number two is where Steve is filming himself talking into some sort of recording device telephone thing connected to the portal, I don't even know, where he's reversing the audio of his own voice and talking through the telephone, claiming it to be spirit replies which come out. Uh, which according to Josh, uh, Steve's spokesman of course, is impossible to reverse the audio back to Steve's original voice if it truly was a spirit reply. So let's put that to the test, Josh. Let's see if it really is a spirit reply because theoretically we shouldn't get Steve's original sentence coming through if we re-reverse the audio, like you say. So we're gonna try this. I think it's all on. What is the name? What is your name of any spirit that's here? Can you tell me your name? Notice where spirits manipulated the audio onto the recording device. I know there's spirits here. There's always, oh, I'm feeling a surge. My front left, you're over here. Very here, boy. Very here, boy. Very here, boy. Can you come through and talk to me, please? In this one particular video, Steve was caught faking evidence time and time again, thinking nobody would ever reverse the audio, revealing the original sentence which he spoke himself. Also, Steve and Josh openly admitted to using celebrity sessions on a regular basis to give spirits back their voice, which seems very fishy to me and personally why I don't do it. This method also has a lot of room for error such as false positives as we can see here from Steve Huff's failed attempt to get in contact with rapper Little Pete. Well, I'm really glad that you don't use that method of reverse um, ITC. <clears throat> I mean... Are you sure you didn't used to do it? I mean, you used to... I'm pretty sure, Cody. I could be wrong. I mean, you know, I'll hold my hands up if I'm wrong. You used to subscribe to literally everything that dude did, you know? When when I was, um, you know, 
in the throes of talking and criticising <clears throat> who isn't here anymore, so I'm not going to say their name, like I said, you were straight up defence, you know, and, and laughing at me and joking with me like, ah, oh, oh, magnitude, such a cock. Yeah, you know, you ain't got a clue. But, yeah, you've got the YouTube bug. You really have. I can, I can just feel it. It, it. It's just so... Oh, man. I mean... Buying a decorated guitar amp in the first place shows me that you're going to go that way anyway. Because I've got a few questions to ask if you are a subscriber to the Spirits Manipulate audio thing, which, like I said, I too could kind of subscribe to that theory in a way I'm not completely discounting it, but it's never been proven. I mean, proven. It hasn't. It has. Don't tell me it fucking has, alright? And Huff certainly didn't prove it. But, um,. Yeah, those clips you're showing are fucking old as well. They're from 2016 sort of time when I was uh, in the throes of totally debunking Huff and, and calling them out like proper, like, you know, as my whole channel was just based on pretty much. So, this is interesting. So, <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Backwards communication. I've done many, if you, if you, look, if you're interested in ITC and you're new here, which I doubt you are because YouTube shadow runs me, like I said, and you, no one's going to see this fucking video, which sucks. If you're interested, I've got a playlist called ITC Lessons. Go and watch it. And there's a video on there called Why Playing a Dead Celebrity's uh, Video Backwards Through a Decorated Guitar Amp is not spirit communication. However, you can also prove, prove... Uh, 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 stuff called, <laughs> as Huff calls it, P-R-O-V-E, because he spelled it properly because he's not a spirit maggot. Sorry, that's a reference to his poor spelling a long time ago. Um, but, you you know, if, if a spirit has manipulated that audio, you can prove it and show that, but nobody ever fucking does. Anyway, Cody, carry on. <laughs> this is going to be a weird question. But did you like the Easter candy peeps? I know one of your album covers had a peep on it. Because you can't kill energy, you know what I mean? Energy doesn't die. It's literally like a fucking weird thing that like leaves your brain when you die, like a... I call it just the interview technique. Um, it's really amazing. This was not the only reply that could be traced back to the original interview clips, by the way. This was just one to give an example on how bad these methods are, and believe me, Steve and Josh know. Here is one of the more recent videos from around four months ago. This time, during the Eddie Van Halen session, it seems Steve started running out of clips to use, so he used the exact same ones two times in the same video. Uh, in two different sessions, by the way. And this is one of the ones that I personally found trying to debunk him. And now that I found this, I'm never going to stop trying to debunk him. I'm going to watch his videos 15 times in a row to make sure that he didn't slip up once. Because the second he does now, I'm going to post it to you guys and let you know. First, I'm going to provide you with audio only. Tell me how close these audio samples sound. <laughs> So obviously they were both the same clips, but now I'm going to show you the video which Steve is using with these clips in the same video in two separate sessions, and titling them two different things. And once you hear the original version of the clip, you won't be able to unhear it. And without being manipulated by the text on screen that he puts, trying to hear what he's trying to make you think is being said just won't resonate well with your head and you'll see straight through his lies like glass. This is just a classic example of recycled audio clips which show just how lazy Steve is when it comes to fulfilling his so-called life mission as the chosen one of the spirits. And the last piece of evidence that I'm going to show you right now is by far not the last in my arsenal but the last in this video because I just find it ridiculous. Texting the dead. Really, I'm sure even... Oh, come on, Cody, don't call him lazy. It takes a lot of time to go through those interviews backwards to find the paradolia that 
resonates with the narrative you're trying to put out, you know. Yeah, the chosen one. Oh, God. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have chosen you from that same, if you remember, that same rigged app. Not just a sample, you know. He wasn't that lazy back then. Yeah, sure he got lazy, so he's using the same clips over and over again. And of course, little peep, don't come off like this is you who has discovered all this stuff trying to debunk him, by the way. Everything you've shown so far has been out there for fucking ages, you lying cunt. Seriously, Cody, I think that ego and the fact that the subs are going high has gone through your head. You really are taking the piss now. What you're doing is you're using old footage that has been researched by us for freaking four years ago and passing off as your own. But, you know, just one of those things. What was it again? The enemy of my enemy is my friend. No, 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 no fucking no. Okay, just quickly cut in here. Right, uh, he's... Show, the next part of this video, he is showing uh, the text into the dead thing where basically Huff uh, experiments with artificial intelligence where he create there's an app where you can create uh, it's a chatbot basically and you can name this chatbot and according to Huff, well what happened was he named it something I can't remember what, I mean it's in the video you know that I'm going to link Cody's video uh, and suddenly it come back as Billy it changed his name back to Billy. Why did it change his name back to Billy? Oh, no. Does anyone remember Billy? Uh, remember that channel I was on about earlier? Mortis the Wizard? Someone said he's coming back in 2021, is he? It'd be nice if he does. I, I don't know if that's true or not. Mortis the Wizard. Or maybe you should check out the channel Contact Mortis. That includes you, Cody, as to what real ITC actually is and how far we've got with this. So what I'm going to do is, I don't really give a fuck about that, I mean it's, it's obvious, so I'm going to skip through Cody's video about uh, exposing uh, Huff Paranormal faking the AI to suddenly change its name to Billy because Huff needed a familiar spirit to match Mortis's familiar spirit that was Ian, if you remember. Um, but I'm going to skip through that it's bullshit. We know Huff would do that sort of shit and it just saves time. Okay, so here we go. Skip time. It was real. And I always say anyone who fakes this kind of thing deserves a special place in hell. It is not to be mocked. What so now I'm going to show you guys exactly what Steve and Josh are accusing me of doing, which is a very particular celebrity voice changer app. This uses artificial intelligence to generate a text-to-speech phrase that sounds similar to the celebrity that you select. I don't think it would surprise anybody with what I'm about to say in this next part, but I don't think Steve thought too much about this accusation before accusing me of it. Right now, I'm going to let you hear side-by-side side some of these celebrities on this app that supposedly allows you to clone their voice, and I'm going to play videos from my sessions with those exact celebrities. So it takes away that robotic sound. Well, I gotta be honest, um, didn't sound really too different from whether it be the fake or your version. Yeah, you can't get rid of the robotic sound, interestingly. This is interesting. Hmm. Methods, methods, methods. Like I say, the motivation for your video shines across. It really does. I don't think if... Let's put it this way, right? If you and Steve hadn't fallen out, and Josh, I don't think you'd be doing this video. I really don't. I mean, tell me I'm wrong. I think you'd still... <laughs> Sorry, rephrase that. I don't think you'd be doing this video. I really believe you wouldn't be doing this video if you hadn't fallen out of Steve in any way or form. Okay, and the only reason why he fell out of Steve is because Steve was like, oh shit, this dude's gaining subscribers like no tomorrow and getting more views than me. Because let's face it, Steve's sub count to view count is fucking shit. It's worse than mine, and that's saying something. Lastly, I'm going to expose my very own personal methods in this video, which are way more safer than using celebrity interview clips to give well-known spirits back their original voices. I'm going to do this because I want whoever is doing this work genuinely not to be fooled by these ITC clowns into using unreliable, perverted methods such as celebrity interview clips, like Josh and Steve use. 
Steve and Josh accuse me of doing sketchy stuff because I have three of my very generous friends who help me because this method is very hard to do, but very reliable and worth it. I was never secretive about this method. I have always referred to us as we, meaning there are more than one people here helping me. It's just that, and many of you don't know, but I have a full-time job and many other responsibilities in life. And as much as I would love to only do afterlife research, I can't devote 100% of my time to this channel right now, which is why I have volunteers who help me in places such as the comment section, helping me to find what works best for the spirits to use as source audio to obtain their original voices back and more. So how am I able to give spirits back their original voices? particularly celebrities who have passed away without using the perverted interview clip method. Here's what I do. I go on internet radio, which is the clearest static-free radio available. This ensures high quality audio for the spirits to manipulate. I will then try to find somebody on the radio whose voice matches the specific tonal characteristics of those particular celebrities who we are trying to get in contact with. I don't want it to be a perfect match, I just want it to be enough so that it's easy for them to come through in their original voices once again. The spirits still have to work to manipulate the audio back to their original voices. Once I find somebody that fits that position best for that particular spirit, I test it out with the spirit one-on-one -on -one and see if they are comfortable using it. If they are able to manipulate the audio to the sound of their original voice, I will follow through with it as that is what works best. I only use live radio because it's completely random and unrecorded. Randomization helps best with spirit communication and you can't get that simply by reversing pre-recorded interview clips. Another big reason why I don't use celebrity interview clips is because predatory creators like Steve and Josh will likely scour those interview clips that I'm using since they are available on the internet for anyone to access, and they will probably try their very hardest to point out false positives and not simply call them false positives, but instead try to make a debunking video on me. This is probably why they were trying to force me to use celebrity interview clips so badly. They knew that there would be false positives and that they could then use it against me if I accidentally tagged something in the video that I didn't know was a false positive. I did leave a cryptic message to Josh, however, letting him know indirectly that I know exactly what he was doing. I told him that I'm not going to give the skeptics or haters fuel to use against me by calling out false positives and saying that I'm faking evidence because they know just how bad this tactic is at leaving open room for these false positives, and this is what they were trying to get me to do. The only thing that I could think of is that they wanted something to use against me as kind of like a blackmailing thing, like if I didn't follow through with giving them what they wanted, they would release uh, defaming content saying that I'm faking my evidence or whatever, which I'm so glad I never used their perverted tactics. Steve also likes to say that he never once brought up my name in the videos and that I wasn't the person that he was mentioning, but uh, as we saw with many of the other things in the video, that was just a lie. and. I I have all the text messages backing up all the conversations that we had showing that yes, I am the person that he was indeed talking about and this is just another attempt of Steve trying to cover up his dirty lies. And so that's going to be the end of today's video guys, I just, I don't know what to say. I. I trusted some of them so much. I mean, I looked up to Steve like, uh, like you know, I'm sorry to say this, but like an idol. You know, I idolized his work. I loved what he did. And to think that, you know, he was faking evidence when he could have just not been lazy and actually put work into building his connection and actually getting real results. It's just... I don't know, it's embarrassing to say that I looked up to him at one point, but I hope that you guys got something from this video. I hope that you're able to see through him like glass now, through his manipulation tactics, through his lies. But that's all I have to say for this video, guys. Please let me know what you think in the comments section down below, and let me know if you want me to start a debunking channel, or even just start a series where I keep debunking these uh, ITC clowns. Um, so yeah, till next time, guys. Have a great day, have a great new year and much love. So there you have it. Cody, ITC, exposing Huff with a few things wrong, and the only reason to expose Steve, because there's now a power struggle, because now Cody's big boy now, with his uh, 100,000 subs, and will no doubt climb, because he's doing celebrity death sessions. I'm sorry. I mean, you, 
do you want to know, Katie, what I feel about celebrities' death sessions? I think they're crass as fuck. I don't really have a problem with them, bar one thing. One thing. Doing it straight away. The minute a celebrity dies, you're there doing a session, you're a cunt. You didn't ask a family or care about the family. Secondly, these celebrities in life wouldn't piss on you if they're on fire. So why would they come to you in death? That makes no fucking sense. Why would they come to complete stranger? Would they not be their family? No, you don't think so? Yeah, that ego's so fucking huge, I guess not, yo. They'd be just itching for you to help them to cross over, I guess not. And if you're doing celebrity sessions there and then, well, the name's going to be all over the radio station. Another question, what radio station are you using? A paranormal station or not, you know? I, I don't know, Cody. Um, I don't subscribe to... The, the decorated guitar and the more reverb you put through it the more you're fucking up that source and you're going on the premise of literally spirits manipulate audio do they is that proven it's a theory and it's a theory i like i said i could probably get behind in a way but it's not proven not a, totally so cody what i'm gonna do i'm gonna leave you with a video that my subs are gonna go ah oh, no don't make me watch this and you don't have to for this you really don't have to but I'm going to do a shill first before I do because I know most of you will turn off. However, Cody, please, please keep watching if you are watching this because you're so big now. I don't think you're going to be watching this. You know, why would you watch a lowly little YouTube channel like me? It's especially shadow banned by YouTube because I've got up such a potty mouth. So, yeah. Listen, if you like what the Magtus do, and just like Cody here, I too have responsibilities and a full-time job. I can't commit my time to this. However, I do count YouTube as a job and I try and put, put as much effort as I can. Hence why I'm doing this now. It's getting dark now. You might have noticed as I've been filming this, it's been getting dark because I've been doing this while my wife is working in the shop just there to earn some extra pennies. Because that's how we do it. We're on minimum wage. We don't work we don't work smart we work hard we're on minimum wage so please 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 if you are feeling frivolous go to the description and just send us a token donation not be much whatever but it really really does help especially as our boss is a bit of a dick and doesn't fucking pay us on time half the time or fucks about it's a fight every single month and once again it's a fight this month um so yeah I, i'm stuck i i you know i was waiting for my wife so you know if you if you any help would be great you know Yep, call me an e-beggar, whatever, fine. Or, or, just like any other YouTube channel that has a Patreon, I'm no different to fucking Cody with his fundraisers. Oh, oh no, he's doing it for a charity, actually. Good man, good man, charity's good. But you, you get what I'm saying, right? So it's up to you, no one has to do it. Now, Cody, before we go, I'm going to show you my best evidence, okay? It's not all of my best evidence, but it's a montage, because I bet you, every time you uh, uh, do a spirit box session, I bet you, you're like... Oh yeah, upload that because contact happens. I bet contact happens every time for you. Every time you turn on that wonder box and start filming, you you know, you don't know, you know, you just class everything as contact. Hmm. Well, I use the old method of using those broken radios and let me tell you something. I actually throw away like 95% of my sessions, I really do. But sometimes, sometimes it works. Now, you're on about earlier about demons and stuff i don't know if i got it in this video or not but you're on about um uh, or a video i watched of yours but using that video method can have demons and stuff and so you're talking like you fully believe and, and know everything you know they're dead people you know they're demons well they do say they're dead they do say they need help a lot of the time in my sessions also and like many others but there's no proof of that no proof have you seen them do you see them no, nah, no. Nah. <laughs> I, I mean, I've captured my photos from my avatar. So. My point is this, right? This is what my line is, Cody. And I wonder if you'll have the same line if you into this video. I cannot prove to you I'm speaking to the dead. I cannot prove to you that I'm talking to a demon, devil, even though it says it over and over again. What I can prove to you, though, is something of intelligence is answering back. So here's a montage for you, Cody, to have a look at. Forget, you're on about clarity. Well, you're not on about clarity, but you, you know, the Wonder Box not using so much reverb. How's this for clarity? Okay, so one of these clips is using an SB7. There's no ch 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 Why not? Because there's a hack out there for the Revision 3 model called Magnitude Mode, dubbed Magnitude Mode by my um, subscribers. It basically press two buttons together and it gets rid of that noise. And my God, the when it works, when something wants to, you know, actually come through and, you know, really show itself, 
it uses it bloody well, okay? But have a look at this, Cody. I'm curious as to what you think of this set of these sessions that I show you. And the intelligence, the back and forth. Hmm. How many sessions, Cody, do you write off? Let me know. Take care. <laughs> Sorry about that. Much love for this, and please support the channel. Really, really could be out right now because I think we're going to lose our jobs. But that's another story. Take care. Much love. I think here, looking or out yeah. there, looking, use this device to talk to me. Yes, please. I just. Yes, there is. Okay, that was kind of good. On G plus. There you go. Yeah. Oh, what was that? Yeah. Patience. Patience, Mamu. Patience. Brilliant. Thank you. So, so there's contact there. That's. Order. Order. There you are. Order. Pardon? I said yes. Not you. Spirit just said slut. Not good. Because. The down. Because, uh. The down. Because the down. I was no. basically appealing for them to get help and to stay away. Slut. Slut again. Slut. Someone's a slut somewhere, says Spirit. Who is a slut? No, Snuggletooth, I don't think you hate kids. I think you're just being responsible. You don't feel that, um, you're capable of having the patience with them. At the moment, so yeah, no, it's, it's okay. Nothing wrong with that. That's good. Yeah, it said slut three times. Now it has, doesn't it, Michael? It said slut three times. I don't know what that's in reference to. If they're talking about situation, situation. Um, and we'll, you know, I'll stream some games on my channel. Well, well chatting crap together, you know, talking spirit, talking. Jesus. Whatever we talk about. Jesus, yeah, thanks Spirit, we'll talk Jesus. Um, and I, um... Wait, wait. Wait, wait. Missy asked me when summer is. I said about one or two. I'm getting so, 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 Is there a guardian? That, okay. um, a gatekeeper, I suppose. That's brave with the world. Ooh, that was a response then. That's brave with the world. Ooh, that was a response then. Are you the angel of death? We well, are like the grim. <laughs> devil, you're the devil, did you? I didn't catch that. But I'm being distracted, obviously. <laughs> By a very naughty girl. And today? And today. Radio. It's radio. That's why I'm not playing ball with you, I guess. I'm only guessing. I said my name then. Right. And pretty much the reception was quite warm to it. Oh, hang on. Yes. The what? Alright, you just, you, you just said demon. That was the first thing you said when I turned it on. Demon. I wish I was recording. Can you say it again? Oh, the spirit. Oh, or, went into the spirit box and you see that. It, whoa. We've got spirits here. Demon? Yeah. Are you good or bad? I can see you. Wow. Go into the spirit box, do it. Talk to me. Or not. Demon. Balak, are you here? You got me? 
You don't. Uh, you ain't got. Sh you ain't got shit, by the way. You're gonna try and frighten me. It's not gonna work. I said, if you're gonna try and frighten me, it doesn't work. You don't want to. What's your name? What's your name? I'll try FM in a minute. This is going to be like a two-part thing because we've got a little bit of activity, it seems. A few orbs. We're also going to be using this box too. Can you set up a dinosaur for me? Spirit. Spirit, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Talk to me. What? Oh, there it is. Thank you. Thank you. What's your name? Demon? No. You say it again. What's your name? What is your name? Bob? What? Is your name Bob? Really? Yes? Why Bob? So I'm trying to get rid of this fucking interference. Why Bob? If I go to FM, will it be easier? Alright, I'm going to change boxes, okay? Alright. Can you use a dinosaur again? Set it off again for me? Come on, you just did it a second ago. Do it again for me. <laughs> Fucking amazing. <laughs> Fucking... Yes! You hear that? On command. This is no faulty toy. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're a nose what? Say it again. Who are you, chap? Oh, what are you, chap? Are you just dead? The devil's fine. You're a nose what? Say it again. Who are you, chap? Oh, oh.